Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Stocks to Play channel. I'm giving you the hottest pennies daily. So, uh, right now it's uh, Saturday. Um, I'm just going to be going over TRK. I got a couple other videos dropping this weekend, but I just wanted to do a, a kind of in depth one about TRK, where we stand and what happened last week, uh, what we could look forward into going into next week right now. So, um, I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to be switching over to Trading View in a little bit, but right now I'm just going to be on Yahoo Finance. So, um, on Friday, it says that we had um, just 125 million in volume. Let me just refresh that, make sure it's right. Okay, yeah, so 125 million in volume on Friday, which is significantly lower than what we traded at on um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, I believe Thursday as well. So, um, but all in all, like, I just wanted to close above 50 and I said that if we close above 50 the uptrend would continue um, I actually posted that in um, like my group chat our paid WhatsApp group chat also on like stock twits and things like that and I posted that um, I'm not being greedy with this play here we just want to see it closing uh, above 50 going into the weekend that that would bring a lot of eyes on this play because um, penny stocks holding their gains Typically, they don't really hold their gains too well. Um, the pullbacks, um, they're not as healthy. Like, it's just they get crushed sometimes. So closing above 50 psychologically has a big impact with the way that these trades are going to play out next week. Because, um, like, there's so many people trading it, day trading it, penny pinches, whatever you want to call it. Like, there's a, a big psychological aspect to trading that we also got to take into consideration. Um if you want to be profitable and try to be ahead of the curve, so to speak. But anyway, um, going into this here, so we had 125 million in um, volume. The five day chart looks amazing still. I did a video on this maybe two days ago saying that Thursday was going to be a very, it was going to be a good day. And I also believe that Friday would be good, but um, not as good as Thursday. And I was definitely dead on correct. Thursday, you saw. Um, we had a little bit of a gap up to, four, we opened I think like just over 46 from 45 the other day. Um, you might have seen that I had said that this stock, on the days that it doesn't gap up significantly from the price that it closed at the prior, previous night, it tends to do better. There's more like um, organic buildup, organic growth in like stairs, like building up to the, um, like increasing the price. On the days that it gaps up, when the bell rings to open, it, it almost always it does drop like pretty people are selling taking profits from the day before which is very expected but the days that it doesn't gap up that um it ends up trading a little bit better um i mean people they panic all the time trka has probably been the easiest hold of my life and like like that's not me um just saying that to say that that's me actually saying that because the way that it's moving and the chart is moving um it's very like it's very it's a very a positive play and still continues to be the whole week of last week we did very well um we're up in the 50s now we touched 59 cents uh for a little bit there's some resistance there it seems like once we could crack that we could get into the 65s but it hasn't yet so we're gonna just keep um playing it uh, i had a lot of shares of this in the beginning down at 26 cents if you were in our group chat you would have uh, been alerted and been able to get in there and do your dd and all of that but i'm still holding shares from 26 cents so that's probably why it's the easiest hole of my life right now because i've already taken significant profits from this and i'm holding just over three thousand shares from 25 cents so there's no stress here for me like even if this went back down to 25 cents i still made great money on the play so i have some shares in there for the long um you gotta be building your portfolio I don't think you're gonna get rich over one trade it's about like growing your accounts like compound interest kind of like just growing daily weekly and then actually be able to scale out make profits and turn this to a living like you know so like i trade full time um actually you can see my setup's a little different right now because i'm not at home right now um on the road i'm actually down in toronto at a hotel but you can bring your stuff anywhere and trade anywhere do your due diligence research have fun with it um trading is it's a, it's a lifestyle and i really like it but anyway getting back to this let me switch over to um trading view for a second here so okay this is the five day chart uh five minute you can see last week we did very well so i put some notes here this like i actually put these notes um as the week was going on because like i like to 
I'm a big chart guy, a big technical analysis guy, and sometimes I'm not even using indicators like that. It's just me watching a stock move and I'm jotting down things that will help me trade this stock a little better. So in the past five days, we saw um, the first three 46 cent top, and we bounced off of this 36 cents uh, range multiple times like that was our key support and I put in our group chat for people that wanted to look to enter into this trade that 36 was a good price to get in and people were able to take a position anyway I've also noticed that um, like I said in the mornings that we don't gap up significantly the stock tends to do better um, from the morning throughout the day um, it's it's organically increasing the price you don't want to just see things gap up then significant drops and then it's like you're working your way back up people are panicking like no i like it when there's these close um see look at this this gap up to here big drop you know what i mean this one here uh it went up slowly 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 came back down bounced off that 36 support and then it went going that 36 support is like confirmed like even though we're in the 50s right now that 36 is still our, our biggest support. And I know it's a little ways down from the 50s, but in my opinion, um, taking into consideration after hours and pre-market trading, 36 is still our best support in these higher levels since we came um, from the 20 cent range, 14 cent range, like 36 is our best support at the moment. We also do have support um, building in the, I would say the 48, 49 range. People are signing 50s, the chart looks like that, but I'm not gonna say 50 is really good support because we fell below that many times, especially in the after hours trading on Thursday and Friday, you know, which got people a little spooked. So uh, I would say 36, 48 is our major support lines at the moment. Um, I, I just put notes in, identify trends, mornings, fairly same price. Yeah, I went through that. Um, over here, we can see after the um, these two tests of uh, resistance at the moment, that was on Thursday there, 58, 59 range, we came all the way back down and we bounced off of that 50 cent, 49 cent range. Um, this is just like some corrective retracement, pullback, however you want to put it, but like it's good, it's healthy, that's normal. And like I said, this the way that this has been trading the whole of last week within the range, it's 10 to 11 cent range whether it's going up that or down that so it's been staying in between that 10 11 cent range and every day this week has leveled up even on friday um after we opened a little bit lower than what we closed on thursday we actually touched um back up here friday morning at 56 and it came back down a little corrective retracement and started going back up um all in all this chart is very bullish like unbelievably bullish i like it a lot um fans sold a whole bunch um in the 50s and uh, i'm just gonna be holding some more shares that i kept from 26 cents 25 cent range i'm not really looking to add in any at the moment but we'll see if the setup maintains and if it uh, if i want to add more it would be great because i have shares so cheap that the, i would be still below market value anyway this one one chart is still looking magnificent here um like man it's been holding its gains very well uh this gap up thank god like i i, I always assume that these stocks are going to come back down and fill the gap fortunately it hasn't yet that doesn't mean that it won't fill the gap later on okay and just because a stock runs up significantly corrective retracement comes back to fill the gap doesn't mean it's out of play anymore and in fact sometimes that makes it more appealing to investors to come in now because like sometimes you might not even have to hold it as long to get your return and get out of it you know when it comes back to fill the gap but that's why you all you got to be taking profits and kind of um, changing sometimes you you might have to modify your your play your plan because um, setups do change throughout the play right um, moving on here that's the one month 30 minute chart i really like how that's looking we'll switch over to the five month um i mean five minute one one chart you can still see it looks very similar here it's 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 beasting beasting this five day chart looks amazing um you can see here yeah we're, we're really testing this 48 49 uh support levels down here but uh right at the end of close we did get a, a whole bunch of buying pressure which was very um it looked very positive to close off the Friday. And then we ran to, I believe it was like 53 in the after hours there. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, 53.30. 
So it's maintaining, it's above 50, that's all we wanted going into the close. Um, no complaints there as of yet. Next week, okay, one second here. Um, okay, you can see, like, one sec. One second, one second, guys. Okay, so yeah, I had some of the notes here with the 36 um, bounce here. Yeah, it's all over the place. 36, confirm support. 48, 49, confirm support. People will talk whatever they want. Um, those are the best supports at the moment. That's not me just watching a chart and saying, oh, this is where it is. That's me watching the stock from four in the morning till eight at night, maintaining over those support levels and actually bouncing from those support levels multiple, multiple, multiple times. Also, um, they had a record day of 258 million in volume. That's a new record for TRK. Earnings is expected sometime in March, okay? We're anticipating that this earnings is gonna be really good, at least 120 mil revenue for the last quarter there. But guys, like keep in mind with my experience, most times like stocks, even with great earnings, they drop on earnings most times. Like they almost always drop on earnings, um, like right when it comes out. I don't know if that's because people are just like, reading it out and like uh, trying to figure out what's it actually saying or what but most times even with great earnings stocks do have a little bit of pullback so everyone's thinking like oh when the earnings comes for this like it's gonna be booming booming but yeah it might be great earnings but that doesn't mean um it's just gonna keep running like we can actually see a little bit of pullback some pe new people coming in taking new positions and then we'll bounce and uh keep it moving up ahead but to say the earnings is gonna drop and this is just gonna start roofing itself like i don't i don't know if that's really gonna happen because from my experience when earnings drop, stocks don't just take off like that. Like I've seen stocks drop with great earnings. Like it, sometimes it's a it's a it's a mind fuck. Like you know what I mean. Um, anyway, also there was something else I had wrote somewhere. Um, ah, can't find it at the moment. But it was just speaking about the uh, the shorts in general there. Um, but also, oh, speaking of shorts, okay, guys. So we've had so much price action especially this past week. Um, like, yeah, this was the Friday here, right? I wanna say, like, shorts have been covering a little bit, to be honest. Like, uh, and the reason I'm saying this, I made a little note here, um, was the cost to borrow actually went down a little bit, okay? So, the only reason the cost to borrow can go down is because now there's more supply less demand so the cost to borrow price is going down a little bit right it didn't go down a lot like that and there's still um, some sites saying 287 percent minimum some are saying 358 percent so we'll see um, there's still a lot of short interest in this don't get it twisted you know but like people I would say some are covering well, considering the price action and considering um, their like there's still shorts available somehow and I, I really can't understand that um like for instance 168 percent of the free float is on loan like okay like like where are all these shares coming from to short like uh, it's a little confusing um there could be a delay um with like ortex and things like that so it is a little confusing we're kind of in the dark there but all in all there's still a lot of short interest here the short cost to borrow is high um, there's only 30 million available shares to short, um, 50.29 million shares are loaned out and there's 67.39, uh, existing shares. So like all these other shares that are being available, like where are they coming from? It's gotta be that some people are covering and closing out positions, right? Or other than that, like I'm, I wear a little bit in the dark here, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Like short stuff is a little difficult like there's market makers that can have an influence and kind of um like we don't know what's going on behind closed doors and we've seen a lot of penny stocks trying to take action against short selling naked shorting and things like that maybe uh trk needs to um take a step in that direction and they can help us out here a little bit you know but we'll see we'll see what's gonna happen uh in time like theoretically there should be zero shares left to borrow at this moment but uh, every day, every night, it's a different story. So we'll, we'll kind of see how this plays out here, man. But anyway, next week, what I, what I really want to see for this stock, TRKA, 
Um, Monday morning, pre-market, I don't mind if nothing really happens. I want to see this open above 50. That's it. Like, no real high hopes. I want to just see it hold that 50. Um, that will bring in attention and new buyers, and it'll also keep people confident to hold their bag. You know what I mean? Because, like, a lot of this... Uh, price entry and getting out of uh, your position. It's a lot psychological, you know, it's a lot of it is psychological, you know Throughout this week. We've seen it drop a couple cents here. People are panicking. I get it like yeah when you buy a, a Thousands of th tens of thousands of shares at underneath 30 cents like those cents are significant in your in your profit percentile but like Man, you gotta look at the chart. You gotta know what you have. Like we do have a strong stock here. It's leveling up, it's leveling up, it's holding its gains. Um, like there's so much attention on it. Play your trade, make sure you're making money. Don't get greedy, don't get caught up in the hype thinking it's going to $20. If it does, like that's great. Make sure you're holding a little bit, but you can always sell, buy back, re-enter, you know, have a little bit of shares, buy even at a higher price, have it like it does like play play the game, you know what I mean? But just Play the game and don't get burnt. Because if you, there's no way right now, no one ha should have not made any money on this play yet. You know, um, it's it's been a very booming play. Like uh, we were in very early in our group chat at 25 cents. Um, if you're interested and you want, oh, here's this is our group chat. We got one guy here. He's uh, he's in at 26. Got alerted. He's up 830. Dollars US. Um, a lot of people in our group chat are from Canada, uh, but we trade mostly US stocks. Um, we got another guy here, like he's up $15,855. Um, yeah, man, like we're alerting people and there is real gains. Our group chat is fairly small. Um, we're just, um, we just started the group chat. I've been trading stocks for about seven years. First two years was a nightmare and then I kind of really found my, uh, like my little strategy and what works for me, my risk management plan, and I started killing it. But anyway, this is our group chat here. Um, I'm always teaching people. While I'm giving plays, I'm always teaching people, like trying to inform them on my decisions and what made me do this and what I'm thinking so that they can use this with the, when they're trading in the future, right? So um, this is just me letting people know what's going on. Da, 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 da. Um, I was just testing out some indicators for trading view, letting them know, giving them an update here. Um, our group chat initially like people are signing up and no one was really talking everyone would like message me privately Right, but now people are starting to talk um, We got these guys GNUS like because like maybe what was it two years ago or three years ago in the beginning of COVID like I hit GNUS from like Man, I must have been in at that shit at like 50 cents or less than that and it ran to like 20 bucks and me and a lot of my friends like really killed it so this guy here he thought GNUS was what I was talking about, but I'm actually talking about GNS now, right? And we hit that too. I was in at that at like 30 something cents too, and it ran to like eight, nine bucks. You know, if you were in the group chat, you you got hit with those plays, right? So um, he's just saying like, oh man. And then another guy hit GNS with me. He's like, help me buy a crib. I guess he got some money for a down payment after that play, you know? Uh, we got this guy. He's, uh, he's been sitting on the sidelines a little bit. It seems like some issues with his account, but he's like, man, I've seen so many plays go three times, four times, five times. Uh, he's uh, excited to get in there once his funds, I guess, is clear. But we're there every day putting in work, hitting plays. If I don't hit them for 100%, someone in the group's hitting it for 100%. Like, um, it's a team effort sometimes, you know what I mean? Uh, really, really, yeah, see? Uh, yeah, I remember the other one, GNUS, that G, G's one of our guys, uh, he was up like 20 bands on it. I remember that. That was like epic, epic, you know? But all in all, man, our group chat is doing fairly well. Um, everyone's learning a bit and coming together, and we're breaking down plays and doing what we got to do. So if you're interested, just drop a comment uh, with your email. I will definitely hit you up. It is a paid WhatsApp group. It's $25 a month. Um, I'm telling you, it's probably the best 25 bucks you'll ever spend. If you want to wake up and have plays right to your thumbs on your WhatsApp, on your phone, to give you some direction in the morning, like this group might be for you. Um, we're slowly growing it and working it, and I'm really, really putting a lot of effort into making sure that people are profitable and they are learning. Once again, this is not financial advice and solely based on my um, research, due diligence, and my opinions. Um, we're not responsible for any losses, da, 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 da. risk management, make sure you handle that, it's on you. But all in all, like there is a lot of money to be made. Penny stocks is, is it. Um, we do, if you're in this sector, you know like 
pennies don't trade like other stocks you know what i'm saying and when people talk about investing and this and that um this is overlooked many times like this is more of a hustle like an everyday kind of thing versus i put some money in tesla and i go work every day and wait it out hoping that this thing goes up like nah man like we we, we trade a little different we can float around anyway in the world and make it happen so if you're interested um in joining our group man just comment uh your email down below and we will get in contact with you take it easy guys adios